Hey, what's going on Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers as it concerns some trade rumors and what the Lakers are going to do when it comes to a potential trade or signee of another third star coming to the Los Angeles Lakers in the off season. Now, guys, before I get into uh, the the trades and the potential target of Trey Young or Kyrie Irving as a potential third star coming to the Los Angeles Lakers. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all the good social media stuff. And of course, like always, please be sure to like my page on Facebook, ZSPN, and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at ZSPN. Guys, I really do appreciate all your love and support you guys have shown me all across social media and, of course, on this channel, ZSPN on YouTube. Once again, hit that notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button so you will know when I go live or go making videos for this offseason for the Los Angeles Lakers. And, guys, it's really important that you do so so you'll be in the know about the Los Angeles Lakers and their offseason plans. I will be making a video about the Lakers' offseason plans and who they potentially be bringing back and who they potentially be targeting once we get close to the free agency market. But uh, expect a video very soon about the Lakers' offseason plans video uh, on Z. ESPN on YouTube. So please check out for that video. But when it comes down to this particular rumor that just came out, uh, uh, according to uh, The Athletic from, uh, I believe it was uh, Yoha Boha uh, of The Athletic, uh, basically, he basically puts out there, according to the reports, that the Lakers are intensely looking at a, at a hypothetical trade for Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks. So, guys, with that, uh, this report, according to uh, The Athletic, uh, indicating that the Lakers are looking for a third star and looking intensely with uh, Trey Young as a potential target this offseason, there's a lot of questions and a lot of opinions, and most people will say, why the Lakers are going through this particular route once again. Didn't we do that with Russell Westbrook? And we saw how that worked out and uh, how the Lakers focused on depth when the trade deadline occurred and how this team turned around their, their season by just getting some key role players that know their roles on the team with D'Angelo Russell, with Malik Beasley, with Jared Vanderbilt. Uh, Rui Hachimura, I mean, all of those guys. Don't you think in the offseason, the Lakers need to focus on that particular area when it comes to rebuilding this team and improving on this team? That's logic, right? But at the same time, you know, we all heard about the, the post-conference of LeBron James. You know, he's considering retirement when it comes down to it and uh, he has to think a lot about uh, his offseason plans uh, and that also puts into the consideration of maybe the Lakers want to go that route of getting another star in case LeBron says you know what I just want to retire I'm done type of scenario but you know we also have to consider other things as well what if LeBron says you know I'll play for another year and the Lakers get uh you know, Trey Young to the Los Angeles Lakers. Could that also play a big role of them potentially making a championship run by adding another star like a, uh, a Trey Young? Um, there's a lot of scenarios in that particular instance. Uh, and most people will say, why not bring in Trey Young? I mean, a guy who's he's young, 24 years old, he can obviously build uh, a team, or uh, the Lakers can build a team around Trey Young, along with maybe Anthony Davis still being on the roster and just some key players can play a big role being part of this Los Angeles Lakers team. But at the same time, we have to also consider the Lakers cap space. They only have about 30 to 32 million heading into free agency. So, and plus the assets, you have to obviously trade for Trey Young and he has a lengthy contract. So with that being said, the Lakers if somehow the Atlanta Hawks will accept the Lakers offer scenarios, the only offers the Lakers could potentially offer 
is a sign and trade scenario with DeAndre Russell and add on uh, this year's draft that they have with 2023 and it may be a potential future first round pick. I believe it's somewhere around the 2029 first round uh, pick. But uh, with that being said, guys, the Lakers, as I'm saying, they don't have the assets to get Troy, uh, Trey, Trey Young, excuse me. So with that being said, um, it's kind of a difficult scenario, but it's not out of the question for the Lakers to get Trey Young <coughs> when it comes down to it. <coughs> you know, that's why I'm also, maybe the Lakers are looking at uh, Kyrie Irving as another scenario when it comes to targeting in the offseason. He, on the other hand, will be a free agent. So the Lakers can offer any money that they have to get uh, Kyrie Irving at another possibility of adding another third star to the Los Angeles Lakers. But we also, also need to consider the same scenario of Trey Young, the money aspect. What if somehow Kyrie Irving says, I just want to get paid? Well, the Lakers can't pay him, but it will be at the cost of, you know, just somehow not building a strong team around those potential three stars coming to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers can obviously bring back Austin Reeves, but they will potentially be losing players like Trey Young. Uh, no, excuse me, uh, not Trey Young. Um, uh, Rui Hachimura. Uh, you know, Troy Brown Jr. I mean, all those guys that the Lakers could potentially try to bring back. But, you know, like I said before in the intro of this video, uh, expect a video of my thoughts and opinions about the Lakers offseason plan. So check out for that video. That's why it's so important that you hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel and follow me all across social media for that potential uh, video very soon that I will be uploading very soon about the Lakers offseason plans it, you know when it comes down to building and improving on this team so but you know when regardless you know the Lakers just have to hope that if they want to get those, those potential stars that either Kyrie Irving takes less like somewhere around like a, a veteran minimum a taxpayer mid-level type of scenario like around like five to ten million dollars then that would be great. Sure, I would love to have Kyrie Irving coming for uh, a 10-year contract and uh, obviously build a team around uh, LeBron James uh, with just trying to bring back players like Rui Hachimura, Austin Reeves, and those potential players uh, in that type of scenario. But once again, we are dealing with a Dallas Mavericks team that the Lakers don't really have a good relationship with. So with that being said... It's going to be a hard scenario for the Lakers to potentially also target uh, Kyrie Irving in another scenario. So uh, with that being said, guys, I mean, those are my my thoughts about those potential stars. But personally, I think the Lakers should focus more on depth and potentially bringing back some key players that worked in our favor when it comes to how the Lakers turned their season around after the trade deadline. Bringing back Rui Hachimura, bringing back Austin Reeves, and also at the sense some of you may disagree because of his performance in the Western Conference Finals, DeAndre Russell, he could potentially be coming back to the Lakers, but at the same time, the Lakers can also do a sign and trade type of scenario with DeAndre Russell. That's why I think it's a likely scenario that the Lakers will focus on Troy uh, Trey Young then Kyrie Irving as a potential sign and trade type of scenario that they can do with the Atlanta Hawks. And like I said, you know, the Atlanta Hawks are open to any trades that's out there from any of their players, even uh, their star player in Trey Young. So with that being said, I mean, guys, please give me your thoughts about the Lakers and their potential targeting of Trey Young as a potential third star coming to the Lakers. Do you think it's a smart move by the Lakers? Or do you think the Lakers should consider a different route adding on depth than getting another star? I personally think adding depth is really important because how well this Lakers team have been playing when it comes to the after the trade deadline. How the Lakers went 15 of 9 after the trade deadline as their record uh, when it came down to the current uh, stars that they had 
uh, and the rotational players that they had. And, you know, guys, I just have to say, that was like the best out of the Lakers when it comes to the after the trade deadline of how well they played after the trade deadline. So, and, you know, to the extent that we reached the Western Conference Finals, I mean, talk about high expectations that we did not expect from the Lakers after the trade deadline. And we have to really commend on the great work that Rob Palenka did at the trade deadline when it comes down to it. So with that being said, guys, I mean, if you have any thoughts and opinions about that, please give me your thoughts about the potential targeting of uh, Trey Young as a potential third star coming to the Los Angeles Lakers. Do you think it will work? Or do you think Lakers should focus on more on depth and potential bringing back uh Rui Hachimura, Austin Reeves, and just the rest of the key players that the Lakers could potentially be bringing back uh, along with uh, DeAndre Russell. So with that being said, guys, uh, like I said, expect a video of the Lakers offseason plans that I will be uploading very soon. But I just found this particular report very important to talk about when it comes to the Lakers mindset of what they're going to be doing in the offseason. Like I said, guys, the offseason is going to be very fun to watch. And it's all because of you guys that we can make this channel possible with all the news and update speculation. So please follow me all across social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at ZSPN. I'll leave the links to my social media sites in the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites. And once again, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be in the know about the Lakers offseason plans and trades, free agency, potential players the Lakers will be targeting like this one. So please uh, do so. It's really important you do so. I really appreciate it. And once again, thank you all so much for the love support that you guys have shown me all across social media and on this channel. And I'll see you all in the next live uh, live streams and the next videos as well. Please make sure to hit that notification bell, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there. Oh, oh, oh.